Hello and welcome to this edition of Saturday Chat. Here with me, Big Scott 35. Uh, we're going to talk about the week there was, the week there, the day there is, and the week there will be, I guess. Uh, so, uh, week there was uh, last week, uh, had a great chat uh, with uh, Victor. Um, Man, we could have talked probably two hours. We 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 talked probably another hour afterwards. Uh, I I uh, always invite some people in just to chat afterwards. Uh, we uh, sit there and just kind of be us, and not just talk about cards. Talk about the world. Uh, do talk about the national coming up, and just uh, just kind of chat. Uh, but. Man, that was a great, that hour flew, and I learned so much. We just sat back and listened to him and Mike talk about eBay. Uh, that was pretty fun. And and we talked, Victor is, is mixing it up out there with the news a little bit. And we talked about that, some takes. And, you know, we don't all have to agree on everything. That, but to have a social discord where you, you can have them without you know you can have disagreements without being at each other's throats it's not the end of the world uh it's, it's cards man um so you know it uh in our really it was not much of a disagreement it was just making sure where where he was coming from and making an understanding so uh Great watch. If you haven't seen it, I, I pour you, you know, while you're sorting cards. That, that's what my shows are for. It, it's uh, the ride in the car, the sorting the cards. Watch a little bit here. Watch a little bit there. I know I'm long-winded. I know I'm a – I used to try to fight to stay between 10 and 15 minutes, and I said, screw it. I'm going to be me. Um and I'm sure it help, hurts me in the algorithms and all that stuff. And I know people don't want to sit here and just watch some uh, old fat guy talk about nothing <laughs> so, uh, for an hour. But sorry, that's what you get. Sorry, not sorry. So um, let's see. Uh, Wednesday uh, showed off some beautiful cards. Um, again, uh, you know, Mike, I bought $88 worth of cards from him and, uh, you know, he, he, he made a remark, you know, the box, uh, of, of cards was 109 buying 88, making my own box is basically for $88. Um, with that, all the comments is just everything you want. Um, just, yeah, that's, that's well said what I wanted to say, and he said it better, of course. I do want to, Mike, today, the, the, this recording is his birthday. Mike, oh, happy birthday, Mike. Um, you know, the, we, uh, I think we put too much emphasis in prices. You know, I don't know how many times you, somebody finds out you collect baseball cards. The, what's the first question? What's your highest price card? Uh, and we're going to get more into that. I have something uh, that I really, really like. And I've been liking watching some of the videos on it. Been really enjoying it. Uh, so that was Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Nerdy Thursday. You know, talk some TV shows, movies, uh, gaming. Uh Nice feedback on that. Got some nice views on that. Uh, you know, it's just another part of me, another side of me. Forgot about Monday. Me and my dad chatted it up. Uh, baseball, you know, I really, that's another one that you could throw on. I, it's not cards. Uh, we just talk baseball and we love to get insight from other people in the community or, you know, that love baseball. Um, questions, remarks, tell us we're dumb. Uh, anything. Uh, you know, my, my dad just loves talking baseball. He loves talking sports, but baseball is his thing. And, and uh, 
he really looks forward to that. Um, let's see. So that brings us uh, to today. Today is, uh, I want to answer the challenge set up by Dustin with Dustin and Blake. Uh, look, they, they're lacking three subscribers from a thousand. I dare three of y'all to go over there and subscribe. I, I let's do it. I mean, let's let's get them over the hump. I, they might have been over a thousand and went back under. I don't know, but I looked at it yesterday uh, when I was watching. Because what happened was I started seeing all the videos that re refer back to them, so I went back and watched Dustin, um, which is a great person in this community. He, he's in. He pops into everybody else's videos, live ones. He remarks on a lot of videos. He's just one of those guys that, that's really involved in this community. Better than I am. That's that's my downfall. I, I don't remark enough on videos. I watch a lot. Um, but being small, I should re remark more, let people know I'm out there. Uh, but I, a lot of times I'm watching them while I'm doing other things. Uh, I put it on and, and when I'm going to bed and, and – uh, watch them as I go to bed, uh, watch them on TV. I listen to them in my car. Uh, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm making excuses. So, but I think they're valid, but I do need to remark more. Um, I've said it in the past a hundred times. Uh, just, just shame on me. It, you know, it, I try, I try, uh, I try, I try. Uh, anyway, so they got a challenge. Uh, show your 10 favorite cards from your favorite baseball team. and uh, But you can't show a same player twice. So, okay, when you start thinking about it, I started looking a lot of – I'm a Mets fan. I, I don't think – I think most people know that. And I'm looking at my wall, my, some of my favorite players over here and behind me. You know, so I got a lot of guys that dual sign and things like that because I love autographs. Dustin said the same thing. Uh, I think almost all of these are autos. Um, they just grabbed me. And I'm just going to start it off. And, of course, as a Met fan, um, growing up in the 90s or really 80s and 90s or 80s, I should say, because this was late 80s, uh, Let's see, I graduated in 89, so so that tells you right there, Greg Jeffries. I have to start off with him. Uh, I have a couple other autos of him. Uh, this was probably the best one of him. The other one really can't read it as well as this. I do. I met him. I have an in-person autograph on a helmet of him uh, in a display that's right now in my closet. Uh of all places. Uh, so Greg Jeffries, a guy that shouldn't get, I, not hate, but the joke of never, when everybody says, oh, sure, we collected somebody in the past that didn't live up to their potential. Yes, he didn't live up to what everybody was saying about him. You have to remember he did get injured, I believe, either his rookie or second year. Um, but he was an all star several times. Uh, he was, you know, not the elite player, but he was an all-star. He was an all-star So with the Phillies. So people forget that, and, and we need to remember that. Uh, love. So I, I started becoming a Mets fan in 85. So the 86 Mets wins the World Series. Um, Wally Blackman. Just a scrappy, dirty player. He would be a dirt bag, definitely. Uh, one of those guys that could get uh, dirty, you know, on artificial turf. Uh, great autograph. So, love that card. Uh, that stays on my shelf. Both of these cards stay on my shelf. This is not a shelf card, uh, but another one. I used to love watching this guy pitch. Uh, just the way he slung it. Jesse Orozco, awesome auto. Uh, this next guy, um, again, gets a lot of hate. He doesn't. The media didn't like him. That's he should to me should be in the Hall of Fame. 
He was an elite second baseman, also played with the Giants and a few other teams. Uh, so, uh, Jeff Kent, just outstanding ball player. Had some great years with the Mets. Uh, love that card. This was actually uh, gifted to me when I left Iowa. So, really appreciate that. This one didn't have a long career with the Mets. But, man, I felt instantly in love with him. Um, and I had these in order, counted away. I like the player along with the card. Um, so, if you know me, you know who the last card is going to be. <clears throat> Just love. He's famous for making a one-hand catch over uh, with his bare hand and foul ground. Um, just to me, just I just thought he was all. I was actually upset when they let him go to San Francisco. Uh, Kevin Mitchell. I had the, a character T-shirt of him. Uh, I remember to this day. Uh, just really, really love Kevin Mitchell. Uh, again. Wasn't with the Mets very long. I um, also have another auto of him, but just I was a huge, huge Kevin Mitchell fan. <laughs> and you got to remember back then, we didn't get this, I didn't get to see the Mets play all the time. So when I did get to see him, you know, if somebody did something crazy or just like this dude was, you know, a big guy. Uh, it grabbed my attention. And, you know, that's just how it was. I, uh, this next one that I want to show, uh, love managers. Always love managers. Love watching them, how they control games, how they handle themselves, just how they, you know, control things. I used When I go to practices or before games, I'm trying to see what they're doing, how they handle themselves. I, I coached a, a little league team for an older league Um for five, four or five years after I stopped playing. Um, took a bunch of kids that struggled with playing and made them into a ball team. I mean, it wasn't quite bad news bearish, but there was a couple of guys. And, and I got I got some nice pats on the backs. So that's something I'll never forget. Yeah, it wasn't a high level or anything like that, but it was fun. I love coaching. I love teaching. Um you know, those who can do and who's, those who can't teach. Uh, so, David Johnson, who won, you know, brought us a World Series. Uh, I do have another Davey that I love, but it has somebody else pictured on it. So, within the the, the, the constructs of the, of the contest, or not the contest, of the challenge, I should say, uh, didn't want to show it. It was gifted to me by Reese and D, uh, Card Ranger. Love the card of him, and uh, it's him and Gary Carter. Uh, so that gives away probably later. Y'all can't figure out who my number one is going to be. Uh, this guy right here, another player, came to the Mets from Detroit. Um, just one of my all-time favorite Mets. Uh, just. I, again, had a T-shirt of him. Uh, just uh, love, love this guy. Ho Joe, Howard Johnson. Nice auto. I have a few autos of him. Um, not the easiest autos to find, but thank goodness a lot of people are not looking for him. Um, so not pricey. Uh, you know, every once in a while, I, I, I don't show off a lot of Mets autos, but I do. I have a watch list. Uh, trying to pick up 86 Mets, 69 Mets uh, for obvious reasons, autos. And I, I have some. 69, I'm lacking, but okay. This one was not a planned purchase at the National, and they're always probably the best ones. So this guy had a table of nothing but transcendence of two different years. And transcendent is a box that comes... Very expensive uh, product. I, I, I don't even know how much it is anymore. Comes to a ticket to the Transcendent Party. 
And at the party, whoever the transcendent player is of that sport that the box is of, is their autograph and for the people there. So that's what this card is. Mike Piazza was there at the party. It's number to 25. This was not part of the collection. This was actually from the party. Um, I feel like I got a deal on this. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't go. I can't I can't afford Transcendent. I have a couple of Transcendent cards. But I can't afford that box. I can't afford to go to the party. Even if I was a rich man, I don't think I would pay for it. As you can see, they were selling it. Um, and I think they do all right doing it. Uh, all the cards are very low numbered. I think 75 or 99 might be the biggest number. Um, but yeah, Piazza, World Ser uh, the Subway Series, the Bat with Clemens. Uh, just one of the greatest catchers of all times. He broke Gary Carter's home run record. Uh, just somebody that, uh, you know, I think he stayed in the league maybe a year or two too long. It would have, might have been nice for him to uh, retire as a Met. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that or go back to the Dodgers and retire as the Dodgers. Uh, so, but uh, just – and a guy that wasn't supposed to make it, Tommy Lasorda drafted him as a favor to help him get a college scholarship. He ended up taking the draft and just uh, worked his butt off and, uh, you know, and, and, and had a great year. Speaking of managers, he did a great job with Team Italy in the WBC. This is a guy that I think that should be somewhere in MLB. I don't understand why he's not in a coaching role, hitting role, something uh, in MLB. I know he's living in Italy, somebody was telling me. Maybe he doesn't. He's done. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but uh, just just a great baseball mind, great player, uh, great memories. Um, just always, always. I mean, he controlled the game from behind the plate like no other. Uh, you know that. I, I think you know Gary Carter was and Johnny Bench was better, of course. Uh, you know, Yogi. You, you got guys that are a lot of guys that are better than him, but. When it came to the game, he was he was all about 100%. Um, he just didn't have all the tools behind the play. Uh, but he controlled the game. Uh, the next one is, I was talking about it, now I got duels. So this is, I got two cards left, but I got five players. <laughs> and these are definitely some of my all-time favorite Mets. So this is probably number two and three on my list of all-time Mets at the time. And I'm hoping the third one does not get traded. He's out right now for probably a, a month. I uh, got hit on the hand. Uh, and, and I got to say, him and the Braves and the Mets had, were talking smack to each other. Pete was one of them. But when that pitcher hit him, you could tell he was visibly upset. You know, he didn't mean to. If he did, he didn't mean to hit him on the hand. He meant, you know, rib cage him or whatever. But or hit him on the rump. Uh, but anyway, you know, I, I felt like it wasn't meant me to. The Mets get hit a lot uh, for whatever reason. I think just because they like the jaw. Uh, for what I don't know why, because they suck. Um, so, but David Wright, who's my second favorite Met all time, and uh, Pete Alonzo. David Wright's from Virginia. Uh, so I uh, lost with David Wright. I need to uh, – I, I have not made a spreadsheet like some of my other – my Mount Rushmore for David yet. But, man, I was looking through my book last night uh, of what I have, and it's starting to get where I'm getting confused because his rookie card, he doesn't have a tops uh, – like – flagship rookie card it's weird so i got i have some they, they have tops pristine they have some other stuff uh but yeah it, it, it's tough for me to find like and keep straight in my mind what's going on with that um 
And then the next one is my favorite player of all time with two other guys that contributed to the 86 World Series. And if you know the Mets, you probably know who the other two are. What, you know, and I mean, I left off like Keith Hernandez, who I love. Uh, Ron Darling, which I love more as an announcer, but, you know, I do love him. Uh, so I probably should have had Keith in here somewhere because uh, I emulated him playing first base uh, as a right-hander. He played left-handed, but just the, uh, how he played with such brash and just unrelentless, just didn't apologize type of play. And that's how I play. If, if you were on first and you were too far off and you had to dive back into first, I might take your helmet off if my pitcher threw it over. Then you don't lead off as far. Right. So, and I learned that from Keith Hernandez. If you're bunting, I was a big, I've always been a bigger guy on the field. I'm coming as hard as I can down that line. And you're going to, if you're right handed and you see me out of the corner of your eye running as hard as I can down the line and breathing hard, you might be uh, wondering what the hell's going on. Uh, anything uh, to get an edge, I, I would do. Uh, I wouldn't cheat, though. Anyway. <laughs> so the bottom one, Gary Carter. Uh, man, I'm sorry that this is glare. Uh, so top is Dale Strawberry and Dwight Good uh, and uh, Doc Good. Uh, so Dwight Gooden is right, but Doc Gooden is what we know him as. And this is out of 24. It's a tribute uh, to the what is that? Stars series. Um, it is tops. 2001. 2011, excuse me. Tops tribute. So this was an eBay purchase. I am looking at another one, multi auto, that I had on my watch list. Just trying to be, just taking my time. Put stuff on my watch list. Somebody else buys it at full price or buys it, whatever was it meant to be. Um, I have tried almost pulled the trigger. He does not have a uh, it, it, this is a eight player uh, auto he, with Gary Carter and Keith Hernandez on it and a few other players from the 80s. He doesn't have our best offer on it, but uh, I just keep watching and I think he probably loves likes the card and uh not if he doesn't sell it he doesn't it's in his collection right that's that's all that people do if they like the card and somebody's willing to overpay for it then it's their card uh if they don't then you know and uh I have one honorable mention I had to have one Gary Carter and this one here just represents uh all the cards um, the cards that have been donated to me by, by the community. Uh, this one's from Nats Man. I mean, me and Nats Man, uh, great friendship uh, through cards. Uh, you know, I, Mr. Fisher Bike, Mike O, uh, Reese, Bobbles. Seems like, you know, I, with Gary Carter's, I, it, it's uh, the nicer ones I get called Victor. Victor hooked me up with the if if you go back to my uh, my Gary Carter purchase, he's the one uh, uh, super set or super collected collection I bought from somebody. Victor hooked me up with that. Uh, he he pointed me in the direction. He thought I was gonna buy some, not all, <laughs> but uh, so I, I, I appreciate it and and I try to recipro reciprocate when I can and where I can. Uh, so, I mean, I got James Gilliam. Who I'm going to, I got stuff over here from him. I hope he's, I haven't seen him around on the, on the channel. So uh, James, you know, hit me up. Let me know everything's all right. Uh, you know, when you don't see somebody comment that always comments are in your lives, you're like, what's going on? Uh, you start scratching your head. I, you know, I've reached out to people, make sure they're all right. Um, 
you know, I don't, you don't have to come to my video or anything. I just, we have a relationship. Me and James have hung out at the National, uh, Chantilly. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, you know, James is a great, him and Shay are great people. Uh, so, hope he's doing all right. Uh, so, today, I wear my UVA cap. Virginia's in game two with Duke. They lost yesterday 5-4. Super regional. If Duke wins today. They go to the College World Series. Uh, hopefully, they play tomorrow for game three. I think Virginia's going to be – Virginia's so deep with the pitching. I think they're going to be okay. Um that's what happened in the regional. They just, they're deeper. Um, they can go to a bullpen and, and bring out a top pitcher for one batter, and they did that. Uh, so, I mean, it, that's a plus for them. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's today for me. I got that and then I, at 12, and then the Mets play at 4 or 5. Yesterday, I turned the Mets game off. At, well, not after Lindor's era. Um, one out. They could have turned a double play, and he just booted the ball to go make the play. Just lost. And then the Pirates score five, six runs on two outs. Um, and they lose. And to, poor McGill. He can't get a break. The dude, he, he pitches a good game and gets the loss. Gets taken out in the fourth inning because he pitched so, – I, I, I'm sure after that play, he just said, what the hell? You know, you got a gold glover supposed to be this great player. And he's made some er bad errors this year. Bad errors. And he knows. He, he came out. I watched, I saw a quote they gave after the game. And, I mean, they ended up scoring seven runs and losing 14-7. to seven. I mean, you can only score one touchdown. Uh, in this day and age, it's about, you know, you got to put points on the board. You score more touchdowns. Oh, we're playing baseball. Um, so enough about that. So that's not card related, except for my man Alonzo getting hurt for four weeks. Let's see what it does to his prices. Uh, a lot of times when a guy's out for four years, he gets kind of forgotten about in our hobby a little bit. Uh, I, you know, it, it kind of happened with Tatis, even though Tatis was out for different reasons. Um, it just kind of, it can't happen. So, because the way our hobby is now, it's not about your stats or who all star games and all that. It's about what you did yesterday uh, in our hobby. Um, let's see if there's some adjustment that should take us right up, button up against the national. We'll see what happens there. I, I I'll talk more about that later, but I, I don't. I, I think it's going to be another year of overpriced cards there, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because there's just so many people. There's a lot of still – I've said it a hundred times. Just a small, small fraction watch videos are overindulged on the hobby as we are, you know, in the social media. There, You go to National, there's – a very small percentage that even know, like, you know, a lot of people know who Eric are, but a lot of them are in the industry or the sellers or who Mike is. Guys that have these huge followings. Um, you know, of course, Jeff Wilson, you know, a lot of the younger people and, and, and uh, Ryan, a lot of younger people around them, but you have a lot of people that still don't know who they are. Uh, it, it just, that's, that's the way our hobby is. And, and what I'm getting to is we're not the know-it-alls, but we're so immersed into it and all the social and questioning and asking questions. We kind of know what's going on when, when I've had friends that they went to the nationals, our first show last year ever, they get overwhelmed. And it, if you don't have the knowledge of what you're doing, of going to a table, it just, I go by a lot of feel. And I mean, and I have already set prices in my mind what I'm paying for it. And if I'm going, like I did with, uh, I know I'm running along again, but, uh, you know, my Clemente, my Page, right? 
I studied like I was taking exams before I went to go make those purchases to feel comfortable doing it. And I feel like I came out so far ahead in that. Uh, I feel like that national was a better buyer's national than the last national. And I feel like this one, because what's happening is, is these, these dealers bought at a higher price. And as the prices are coming down a little bit, they're not, it's not collapsing. But, you know, the bigger cards are losing more faster because they were over way $3,000 for a new card is ridiculous. So they're going to lose price a lot faster. But you're the guys that the vintage and some of the other stuff, they don't, they're, you know, they're kind of coming down a little bit, whatever. But I just think the dealers want to make their money back, especially that first part of the week. Uh, you, you, and I'll talk more about this later, maybe even this Sunday night, because I'm, I'm not 100% that I'll have somebody on tomorrow night. I reached out, uh, kind of communication issues. I'm hoping it works out. Um, you know, and if it's just me, we'll just talk national talk. Uh, but anyway, so that'll be tomorrow night. I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm hoping because uh, I'm excited if they do come on and it's okay if they don't. They're very busy people. Um, so then I will, you know, give them a shout out either either way because uh, I respect them. Either way. Uh, and then uh, let's see, the next week, I'll, basically Wednesday is going to be James Gum's show. Uh, and James. Thank you. Um, I had them last week, but I didn't want to make it too long a video. Wednesday, I like to make it short. Uh, and then we'll go on from there. You know, it's going to be a fun week. Uh, just getting another week closer. Um, shoulders getting better. We'll be going back to work on the 26th, it looks like. Uh, work a three weeks and then go to the national. Um, it's the way it should be. So until next time, like, share, thumb me if you will. Uh, you know, I guess that's liking. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, until next time, till tomorrow night, we'll see ya.